Okay, welcome back everyone. We're back with a short and sweet video today in which we follow on from our scanning remote video where we showed it set up with the hub to control the TV. <clears throat> we prog programmed in a lot of codes. We then paired the scanning remote to the hub uh, and we showed that we could pair a, a number of different buttons for a number of different functions and how easy it was to change between them. Now we're going to show you a different input device, the switches, the Avaron switches. So we have the 125 and the 75 and for the sake of the demonstration we're going to show you on the 75 which is the smaller one um, once uh, once connected this couldn't be easier to use it's as simple as setting up the uh, function in the back of the switch to uh, to replicate whatever code you want to do so when we spoke about the scanning remote we said that you cycled through the different um, options available up to 24 um, and there were two two ways of, of working that with regards to whether or not it's a, a wireless process or an infrared process. So we're still working with the infrared there. So for that purpose, we're still talking about the codes when we're talking about which function number we're using. The codes are still set up in the hub, but first of all, we've got to pair it. So we hit the pair button like last time. Green LED is flashing nicely there on the hub. And then on the back of the environment switch, you'll see these two buttons here, one with um, the M next to it and one with the P. The P is the pairing button, so we press that. And you get this P come up on the LED screen there to show that it's paired and uh, it disappears when it's fully paired. The M is for the mode. So as we cycle through the mode, you'll see that you can choose a number of different modes within the back of the switch so we will put this on code one like we did before to turn the TV on so it should now work so that all we need to do to turn the TV on now we're paired with the hub and we're on code one is press the switch and there we are TV coming on and as before, if we change the code, we change the function that we've set up. So we want to mute it. So we'll go to the back of the environment switch and we'll change to number four. And there we go. We can mute it or unmute it as we go. And likewise, if we change to Number 17, perhaps, we'll go to, so there we're on the number 17 on the back of this switch. And that should hopefully uh, encourage our macro code to take us to 202. And there you are, really, really simple. And this is all happening whilst we're still paired with the scanning remote. So this is just identifying again that you can have two devices uh, paired to the hub or more devices actually doing different uh, functions if needed.